welcome back to the Garcia Center. Um, I'm Eugene Solis and we're doing our art project today and our theme in line is still fall and autumn seasons because Thanksgiving's coming up pretty soon and we're making our own corn um, by just using bubble wrap paint and construction paper and markers but this is a two-day process because the corn part takes time to dry and for the first part we are using our sheet of bubble wrap that you have in your kit and your Ziploc bag and also you're going to need your yellow orange and black paint also you're going to need water and brushes and to make the shape the corn shape you can use this template you have here that I have printed out for you. This larger kind of oval shape right here. Or you can cut it out yourself, it's up to you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, cut it out myself, but you can always go ahead and use a template. Just making like a long oval shape with maybe the top part being a little bit smaller than the bottom. I think it's going to be a little messy, so if you're painting on a table, you may put some newspaper or scrap paper so you won't get the table dirty. And acrylic does come off a surface like a table surface, so you just have to wipe it off down with water or um, maybe surface cleaner. And the first time when I did my corn, I did several layers. It was just the really, like I think it's a, like a really dark orangey red. Again, we're sticking with fall colors like red, yellow. So with my little brush, I am brushing it and I'm kind of pushing it in, not just in the, 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 the bubble wrap, not just the top part that pops, but also the inner part, the flat part. So I'm pushing my paint in. enough to cover the inner part and the top part too as well but I'm trying to get the inner part that's like our pretty much like our little base color for our corn now we're done with that I'm going to use the yellow color next Use the black last because it's the darkest color and once you get black on there, it usually will mix with all the other colors pretty, um, pretty easily. So now let's move on to our yellow. So black will be last. And yellow, I'm pretty much just going, not, don't cover the whole top of the orange with yellow, but maybe some of them, like I'm just going around my corn cob and I'm just putting some of the the bubble wrap, the pop part, or the, the, the part that you pop the bubble wrap. Go and use the yellow to paint over the kernels, which look like the, the bubbles that you pop on the bubble wrap. Don't color, you don't have to color all them yellow, just several of them. Because you still want some of that reddish um, orange color to show up still. So I'm doing that with my yellow. And it could be, and it's okay if it mixes a little bit to the orange and the yellow. And some parts you may have to a little bit thicker to show more of the yellow color. Like I'm just, some parts I'm just like dabbing it in, I'm not even um, brushing it on, I'm just dabbing the yellow on so it's a little thicker and it's a little bit more it shows up the yellow color a little bit more. And that's good for my yellow. Then you clean your brush and then the last color you use will be the black. In the black you don't need very much of it. Again, you can just dab it and color in some of the popcorn Let's see, popcorn, well, corn. Cutting some of the corn kernels, just 
again dabbing some of that black on top of the our corn cob just a few of them to give, the, to give the illusion that this is corn again this bubble wrap does have a texture on it too so that's helping it look more realistic see there's my corn cob and then you want to let it dry completely because some areas might be kind of thick and could probably um, smudge or spill spill to the side. So just go ahead and put this inside till the next time. And when I see you next time, we'll complete this project. Yeah.